It's 2028. A multimillionaire needs a translator who can speak English and Latin fluently. He is willing to pay you as much as you want for the service. I obviously see the ad and immediately start practicing by purchasing Latin books. However, on the other perspective, a robot also sees the ad and starts to train itself by learning Latin itself in within just 15 minutes. Do you think that this is what our future would look like? Do you think this scenario would become our reality? I actually fear so. Good afternoon to one and all. I'm Harsha Manu from Year 8, and tonight I'll be talking about our revolutionizing technology and artificial intelligence. I mean, it has happened before, so why not again? Introducing to you Alpha Zero, a program which managed to teach itself chess in just four hours. And to top that, it also just, you know, casually beat the world's best chess players. Now, if that is impressive, I don't know what is. But let's look at an example of artificial intelligence, which is right under our noses for all of this time. I'm sure you have all heard of Siri. Siri is an example of artificial intelligence since it has the capability to think and act on its own accord. So it's a mystery, you see, since developing AI is quite a complicated process, since you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen or what the machine is planning to do next. It is quite like a replica, in my opinion, of our minds transferred onto computers and machinery. Although, Siri is quite a more basic version of artificial intelligence compared to other projects currently, so it'll evade the answer to your question if it can't find it online. Talking about computers, here is a micro bit. I would like to invite my sister to show how it works. You're, you're probably wondering, what on earth is this tiny, fidgety device? It is a computer which enables you to program on. In fact, I have programmed a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. And here I will demonstrate it. Rock, paper, scissors. So this represents stone, meaning that they have tied. I've also enabled a scoring system, meaning that if someone gets three points, the machine will be able to deliver a message saying, you won or you lost. It works through a sensor machine, meaning that it can detect when you shake it and it'll change the icon on the front. Thank you. <laughs> Artificial intelligence is designed to do only one task, like only r read a book, or only drive a car, or only swim underwater. But the goal of many is to create something called general intelligence, and AGI would be able to b perform better than humans at everything. Now, there are three stages to artificial intelligence. There, we are currently on artificial narrow intelligence, but have I, as I have said, the next stage is artificial general intelligence. If machinery and robots are able to perform on AGI, their thought processing levels and intelligence will be equivalent to humans. The final stage is artificial superintelligence. If a machine performs on artificial superintelligence, it will go far beyond my understanding and the scope of this talk. Here is a self-driving car. You may be wondering, oh, it looks just like my average, normal, ordinary car. But I can assure you, it is very well not. It performs on cameras which mimic human eyes, and it uses GPS systems to navigate through routes and find the best direction to the final destination. Its cameras help navigate itself through the actual road and switch through lanes if necessary. It actually 
performs better than humans ourselves. Since if you look at it this way, it doesn't chat while driving, doesn't text while driving, doesn't get distracted. Oh, and did I mention it doesn't get tired either? The list can go on and on, meaning that this will be an optimal solution for the future and many are already switching to this new automobile. As a matter of fact, the transportation industry hires around 70 million people worldwide. For you all, I fear your jobs are no more. But you are probably thinking, oh, but I, I'm, I'm assuming that you are all having jobs right now. So you are all probably thinking, oh, but my job, unlike a transportation or low-skilled job, is a white-colored job, meaning that it cannot possibly be replaced by robots or artificial intelligence. But unfortunately, the robots are coming for you too. In fact, in August 1, 2017, Facebook helped be, uh, built a chatbot so it could learn to negotiate by mimicking human trading and bartering. Instead, it had created its own language, proving to be more skilled and clever than expected to be. This caused Facebook to shut it down, showing an example of how AI can become smarter and cleverer than humans if given the chance. This seems scary, right? But now, the possibility of technology evolving and taking over more jobs is very, very likely. Many people also think that these new opportunities can also give way to new jobs in the future and new possible skill sets. But statistical information show otherwise. This means that many could remain unemployed and struggle to find new jobs in the future. And possibly, this can mean that many would also be forced into corruptcy or bankruptcy and the poverty gap between our world would grow wider and wider dramatically. Sorry. But this all seems like child's play when our lives are at stake. Yes, that's right. The military is considering changing all their weapons to autonomous weaponry meaning that they will also have a mind of their own. And they will be able to perform tasks on their own, with their own control. In fact, more than 100 CEOs of, law, of robotics and artificial firms have signed an open letter warning that their technology and research could be transferred into building armed drone systems or automatic autonomous weaponry, also widely known as killer robots. I know this seems like a strange reality, like it's come out of a sci-fi movie, but it's not. It's the world we live in right now. In fact, recently, a professor who has been teaching computer science at Berkeley for more than 35 years now, called Stuart Russell, has been participating in a project where they have created a short movie, which you may have heard of, called Slaughterbots, where they portray the dystopian future which may be caused by autonomous weaponry. He says, quote, The pot its potential to benefit humanity is enormous, but allowing, sorry, I don't know why that happened. Its potential to benefit humanity is enormous, even in defense, but allowing machines to choose to kill humans, it'll be devastating to our security and freedom. Thousands of my fellow researchers agree we have an opportunity to prevent the future you just saw, but the window to act is closing fast. Robots nowadays are able to perform many tasks, such as manipulate financial markets. They are able to create and formulate their own algorithms, which teach themselves to cleverly trade and essentially make more money. This means that our world is being driven by technology right now. And I admit, I could not go a day without looking at my phone or using something which is related to our research, which has expanded us to go now. But now we are trying to, 
we are trying to develop and enhance our technology more and more. But we may drown in this race to knowledge and power, since in our DNA is a deeply wired fear that we may not be the most dominant species there is right now. And I fear that artificial intelligence could become that. Recently, there has also been a robot who has been granted a citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Who of, all, uh, who of you all have heard of Sophia? Sophia is a robot, as I have said, who has been granted the citizenship in Saudi Arabia. She says that robots and humans should be able to work hand in hand. And with her knowledge and our creativity, robots should be given another chance and they are capable of making this world a better place to live in. However, David Hansen, the creator of Sophia from Hansen Robotics, says that in just a few years, she should be able to gain consciousness herself. And whereas she may have good intentions now, it may not be the case for, her, for this same thing to happen in the future, where she may actually be able to work on her own without any additional human input. And I think that we are trying to make our best to try and make robots think like humans. But the fearful, fearful truth is, in just a matter of time, we may be the ones trying to teach ourselves to think like robots. Thank you. <laughs>